Hey everyone, I just wanted to go over real quick on how I have been taking screenshots in the new Ark Survival Ascended using the built-in photo mode. Um, just uh, let y'all know, <laughs> forgive me for the graphics, I'm running my old 1080 Ti graphics card. Hopefully I'll be getting a new one soon, you know, it's my birthday next month and all that, so fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, it... <laughs> I can't, I can't ever play this way, but... Oh my gosh, there's a baby! Oh, there's twins! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, sorry, I'm like squirrel. Okay, we're gonna use these guys as our photo op. Um, okay, so first thing I do, you know, I find something interesting. I hit the escape key, go down here to where it says toggle photo mode. This will bring you into the photo mode camera. Now, mine went ahead and zoomed in because I had already been playing with some of the settings, and you can actually save your own presets. If you like, um, you know, different like focal lengths or a different amount of depth of field. So I'm going to go ahead real fast and I'm going to hit the F key. The F key basically toggles your menu. So I hit F once um, and it goes away. So I can just, you know, hit F12 and take my screenshot. And I can click F again. And then this brings up the settings. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like uh, from the start. So when you first go into photo mode, it'll probably be just what you're actually viewing as your person. Um, I'm also in spectator mode. So if you don't know how to go into spectator, you just type in, um, I don't know what it's called. It's that little button above tab. I just, and that's all I know. And you just type in enable spectator. I'm so glad they have all these that pop up because my spelling is awful. So enable spectator, I hit the up key, make sure it's spelled right. And then I would hit enter. So I'm not going to do that right now as I'm already in Spectator. I'm just going to get out of the command menu. Okay, so here we are. And um, now you notice I can't like move my camera yet because I'm still in the settings tab. So I have to go ahead and hit the F button again. And see the camera mode settings kind of went grayed out sort of. And now I can move. You can change your camera speed with the scroll wheel. So that's fast. I scroll it down. Now it's slowing down a little bit. That really helps if you're wanting to get like good up close shots and just position your camera perfectly. So here we have Mama Pariser and the babies. So again, I apologize for my graphics being super choppy. Um, and what's wrong with its eye? It looks a little funny okay so another thing that I like to do before I go into messing with the depth of field and the camera lenses and I want to make sure that the dinosaurs or whatever it is I'm taking a photo of is like aligned good like they're they're in a good pose so I'll hit F twice once to get, to get off the menu and then again to bring it back up because it just cycles through okay so we're gonna scroll down here to the bottom and I really like this you can trigger slow motion within the photo mode. So I'm going to turn that on and see if we can't get those babies caught up with Mama. Okay, Mama needs to slow down. The babies are not that fast. So you can adjust the speed. Oh, there we go. One of the babies is running. No, don't stop. Keep going. And then to stop it again, you just put it down to zero. Hit the F key. And, oh good, she's turning around. Okay. Might just have to be one baby and one mama. I don't know if we can get the other one in there. And I don't want to make this like a really long video. I know I haven't been making videos in a while. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's just been, it's just been kind of crazy and busy. And don't even get me started on this school year. It's, it's definitely different. <laughs> it's just exhausting. Okay, so maybe let's see what that looks like. You will have to keep adjusting your camera as you use the slow-mo. Um, and then if you want it to go down, like pan your camera down, hit C. Oh, too far. Space bar is to go up. And now I think I'm going to go ahead and work with the zoom a little bit. Just for instructional purposes. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and click F. F. Actually, I want to do... I'm sorry, y'all. I've just, it's got to be perfect. There we go. Isn't that cute? Okay, now we're going to scroll all the way back up. And I always like 
let's do the focal length first and then I'll explain the others. I only really use these settings right here. Movement, I don't mess with yet. Again, I'm not sure what all the targeting does. Um, I've not played with that. So we're just going to stick just to the basics just so y'all can get out there and start, you know, taking your photos. Okay. So focal length is what controls your camera zoom. Like, as you can see, you can zoom in a lot. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Um, and it's very sensitive too. So I'm going to maybe right there and then I'm going to reposition my camera so that I get the whole little family in the picture. Hit C a few times. Just play with the angles. Don't just go for like the first angle you see. You know, look at all how it would look at all sides. Okay, I like that. Now let's move on to the depth of field. Okay, so before I ma start messing with the depth of field, I tick on the show focal plane and that brings up this little grid. And what that does is it basically shows you how far like the blurriness is going to be. So if I mess with, let's turn on depth of field real fast, just to get an idea of what you will be seeing when I start messing with the distance. So as you can see, as I move the slider up, you can see the background start to get blurry. Well, we're going to use this focal distance and this grid, which is the focal plane. We're going to use that to kind of help balance out where we want the depth of field, the blurriness to stop. So, oh man, it does this sometimes. I don't know what it is. Sometimes you can't mess with this and sometimes you can. I don't know. I haven't figured that out. It's only happened to me a few times. So let me reposition my focal length. Maybe my it has something to do with the length of the of the zoom, and I, I I don't know. It's just there's a lot of there's been a lot of like trial and error. So I'm just gonna back off the camera a little bit, give some more distance between the camera and the subjects, um, and then we're gonna go back and see if I can get the focal plane to move. Because with the focal distance, you can actually get it to move, but it's not doing it. Ah, okay. Well, I'm going to have to toggle photo mode and then go back into it real fast. Maybe that fixes it. Oh, and they're all out of position. That's so frustrating, but it happens. Okay, just so I can show y'all what it's supposed to do. Let's take on the focal plane and now let's play with the focal distance. See, now it's moving. Of course, now you want to move. Um, okay. So what we're doing now is let's increase the depth of field. Let's get that, the blurry background going, uh, just to see where it's going to stop. Now, as we're messing with the focal distance, see the grid is going close and it's going far. So we want it right at the Pariser to make sure that the, you know, the dinosaur itself is in focus and I just try to get it, I always try to get like the head and the eyes. I always focus on those first. It's okay if like the tail or something might be a little bit out of focus. To me that just adds more like character to a photo. So I'm really trying just to get the head and the eyes. Now if I mess up, I just hit F and I can reposition my camera. But you see how the field is moving. The field is basically... Um, it's attached to your camera, so whichever way I move, that grid is going to move with me. So just keep that in mind if you need to, like, readjust your shot. Ooh, I'm really kind of liking how this is looking. So, yeah, I think I might go with this. And that's another thing that I just recommend is to play around with the angles, the settings. You know, if you find, like, some good, good dinosaurs or something in a... Um, in an area like you know stick around for a little bit and see what you could do so i'm going to take this focal distance the grid and i'm going to move it to the younger little baby parasaur back here because i want that one to be my main subject we're going to make the mom in the background a little bit blurry like we're seeing it from the baby's point of view kind of again it's very very sensitive okay so that's pretty good you can see and it also casts, I've noticed, like a little blue um, glow to the dinosaurs. I don't know if that's intentional. To me, it kind of helps because I know, oh, that's going to be in focus. 
So now we can go and play with the depth of field. Do we want more? Do we want less? If we do all the way, it's going to blur pretty much everything. So that's like at a setting of one. So we're just going to slowly back off just a little bit. Sometimes less is more in a way when you play with the depth of field, uh, but it just depends. So I'm going to get rid of the focal plane. You'll notice that blue kind of starts disappearing off of the baby. So there we have it. And now, if you like what you got, you can just hit F and hit F again. And then you can take hit your screenshot button. Right now, I'm being lazy and just using F12. I know there's some other like screenshot programs out there that take like higher res, but I have an upscaling program that I use, so it's okay. My graphics card can barely handle what we're doing now. Uh, 1080p is fine. <laughs> All right, so that's one photo. As we're here, remember, don't forget to like rotate around your subject. You might find a different angle or something that's a little bit nicer or, you know, looks interesting. Um, and definitely uh, play with the different, like, way your camera's facing. I know some, if you just want to do like an overshot, you just move it up like this. I personally... I'm a sucker for these ground shots. I like getting like on the ground level as close as I can. And then I angle my camera up and it just, I don't know. It just fills the frame for me more. So I'm going to play around with the motion again. So I'm going to get out here, slow motion. And I'm just going to move it. Cause I just want to see if I can get like the mom to turn around or the babies to do a different pose. Thank goodness. There's no like raptors or anything. I, I had like a family of stegos earlier and they had twins and the mom and dad were fighting off this T-Rex and I'm sitting here in photo mode thinking, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? It's like planet earth, but it's a game. <laughs> it was, it was really good. I, it was like, it turned out good. The stegos ended up winning and the babies were saved. So uh, come on. I wish the babies would get closer to their mom. So um, I'm going to fiddle around with this just a little bit more. That's pretty much it. Uh, that's as far as I have gotten when it comes to the new photo mode settings. This is all I've been using. I really do love how they have the babies like constantly targeting the mom. Like they don't just randomly wander. They know that's that's my that's my parent. I'm sticking close to my parent. This is a very scary world. They really don't stray too far. Now, as far as playing the game, again, I haven't done that yet because I am now officially a potato-y computer. And I'm hoping that this gets put on that, what's it called? GeForce Now. I will gladly throw $30 down just to rent like a decent rig with like a 4090 or something. Uh, that'd make me so happy if they could go ahead and get that ready. I mean, if GeForce Now wants to make like some money, yeah, put that up there. And I'm sure a lot of us would probably uh, dip in for like the first month or so definitely tied me over until I get a new graphics card. And seeing as this photo mode is built in, I know the GeForce Now was having, it didn't want to play with Ansel very nicely, and so you couldn't go into NVIDIA Ansel through the GeForce Now. But seeing as this is all built in, you can just, you know, hit the F2 key or F12 key and be good to go. Oh, go get up there, little baby. Oh, that looks good because the mom's like looking being alert. Maybe there's danger nearby. I could spawn in a raptor for good story, but yeah. For now, let's just kind of focus on the babies. I want to get their point of view following mom. I wish they would spread out a little bit. But as you can see, it's a process. Like, I've been following this group of dinosaurs around for a while, and we're just you know, working on... Whoa, what was that? Getting... Oh, it's a bird. Okay, I'm about to say, what is happening? Bird, you're ruining my picture. Go away. Uh, but yeah, any questions that y'all can think of, just uh, drop them down in the comments. I will try my best to help. Like I said, I've only just been playing with just the photo part of things. I haven't touched the video yet. So, um, so yeah. Again... Um, 
hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. Uh, sorry I've not really been making videos a lot lately. Again, just life and just other things. Don't want to uh, go all into that now. But uh, I'll definitely be posting my screenshots mainly on Twitter. And then maybe once I get like a new card, I might do some ARC videos with my friends. We'll see. Hopefully. Just playing ARC has like just put me in like a way better mood than I have been here lately. So, okay. Well, I'll stop uh, rattling on. Just got home from work and I'm tired and but yeah i hope to see what kind of photos y'all come up with and i will see y'all later bye everyone